Welcome back to the second half of Newsbreak Live and joining me tonight is Christian Wolf from the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation who is the Executive and Artistic Director. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. And it's a very exciting time for the Foundation as you'll be kicking off a wonderful event which is just around the corner. It's called the South Bay Festival of the Arts. Tell our viewers what it's all about and how the idea came about. Well, the uh, foundation has been doing a fundraiser, an annual fundraiser, for uh, since they've been in existence the last 22 years. And over the years, we've noticed that fundraiser galas have been getting a little stale. It's the usual silent auction, live auction, rubber chicken. Um, so we wanted to sort of spice it up, and we wanted to be more accessible to the to the general public. Uh, so we decided to have a big free event that is really just an all-day immersion in the arts. The great part is that it's a free event. Yep. There are VIP tickets that are available, but it's a pretty big event. So tell us, if people come out, what can they expect? They can expect a, a lot, actually. <laughs> the, um, we have entertainment in all the stages in the uh, Torrance Culture Arts Center, uh, the Armstrong Theater, the Torino Plaza, uh, the Nakano Theater. We have dance um, classes, or actually free uh, introductory classes in the dance studios. We have children's arts and crafts. We have uh, food, beer, and wine. Um, we have an amazing art exhibition that will be going on in the Ken Miller, uh, Ken Miller Room. Um, and of course, the uh, Toyota Meeting Hall is specifically reserved for the VIPs. And this is happening June 24th, Saturday, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. What are some other performances that are happening at each of these stages? So I know there's four stages, but each one will have different types of music, correct? Correct. The uh, Torino Plaza is sort of our headliner stage. We have um, a number of bands that will be go on, going on uh, each hour. So it starts, kicks off with Just Us Four, which is a vocal uh, group. Then we have Streetlight Cadence, Eileen Quinn and the Leapin' Lizards, which is more of a swing group. Uh, Truck Stop, which is country western. Uh, Perla Batala, who's a Grammy Award winner, uh, who's worked with Leonard Cohen, will be uh, appearing. And then In Contempt, which is a cover band. Uh, in the Armstrong Theater, we have the Peninsula Symphony Youth, or Youth Orchestra, a magician, a comedian magician, Sean McMaster, will be hosting the entire day. Um, Encore South Bay, aerospace players, Mc, uh, McNally, um, McNulty Irish Dance Studios, Unit One, Tycho, uh, just a number of different uh, fun, exciting performances, mostly community-based. Um, and in the Nakano, we have uh, more classical uh, and acu acoustical performances. We also have a, a reading of, a, of new works written by new playwrights. Um, and then also in the, one of the dance studios, we have storytelling going on for the children. So it really, there really is something for everybody at this event. What does the diversity of all these performers show? I, I think it's, well, just looking at the the shows that are going on in the different in the Nakano and the and the Armstrong, it shows an immense amount of talent in mm -hmm. in the South Bay. Uh, two of the performers that are will be performing in the Nakano, uh, Liz King and a group called Lacey, have actually performed in mm -hmm. South Bay's Got Talent. Uh, Liz King was one of the winners, so it's just amazing to see how many young people, actually young and old alike, are coming out who really have are just so talented. And it's just fun to watch them grow up on stage. I did mention that it is a free event. However, there are VIP tickets. What do you get with a VIP ticket? And for general admission, do they need to register online? Uh, actually, no, they can. There, we have a, the event on Eventbrite, but you can just show up the day of. Okay. Um, it's Like you said, it starts from it goes at 11 to 5. You can come at any point uh, during the day. On our website, uh, torrentsarts.org, we have listed the schedule of performances. Mm -hmm. So if there's someone in particular you want to catch, you can come specifically at that time. Um, although the food vendors will be uh, going in and out, we have a lot of the restaurants, local restaurants coming in, uh, and we're selling uh, food tickets for $2, so you can get a taste or a beer or a glass of wine for $2. And uh, they start, uh, again, at 11. There's some that will be in there from 11 to 2, and then some from 2 to 5. So you just come at any point during the day, and you'll find something you want to do. What does the VIP ticket offer? It's $150. Um, there, there's actually a catered meal inside the Toyota. Uh, we have um, specifically mapped out or roped off that area, so they get really treated with um, an amazing uh, 
a dinner or lunch. Mm -hmm. They have a VIP seating in all the different areas and all the different theaters, so you don't have to scramble for a seat. And specifically in the Torino Plaza, there's a roped off area with umbrellas so you can sit and listen to the music and just have a great day. I know right now we're showing video of the Chato Tea Room. We just showed video of Rock and Juice. Everybody loves to eat and drink. So who are some of the participating eateries, wineries and breweries that will be there? If you can tell us a little sneak peek. Well, sure. Uh, we have Pink's uh, Hot Dogs will be there. We have, Like you said, we have Rock and Juice. Um, we have uh, um, actually... Little did we know when we started this event, we thought we would have a lot of craft breweries, but as, as it turned out, it's uh, the closing night of Beer Week, LA Beer Week this oh. week. So we actually had uh, one of the local breweries, Absolution Brewery, step up, and they are exclusive brewery for this event. Um, and uh, the, we'll also have a lot of snacks available, and for the kids, we'll have face painting. So it's um, just an amazing event. How does this event go in hand go hand in hand with the mission of the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation? We haven't really talked about that, but what is the mission? The mission of the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation is in partnership with the city of Torrance mm -hmm. is to um, bring uh, education, arts education and arts experiences to the city of Torrance that are exceptional, highest quality, and at a reasonable price. And that's something we've been doing for the last 22 years. Our seasons uh, really are exceptional. We bring in uh, touring artists from all over the country and we also produce local performances with uh, South Bay's Got Talent every year and Dancing with the South Bay Stars. What sets this event apart you would say compared to other events you host throughout the year? I know it's going to be quite large. Well large and free. Mm -hmm. um, the the uh, I think really it, this shows the diversity of entertainment that's available and the mm -hmm. diversity of what we present. As a matter of fact, three of the artists that will be performing on the Torino Plaza mm -hmm. will be a part of our season coming up. Um, our 18-19 season is jam-packed. We have our um, guest artist series, which goes on in the Armstrong. We also have family show shows. We have the National Theater Live presentations, which are, uh, video are films of uh, performances hap that happen in England and we are showing those. And then our Studio Cabaret, which is uh, in the Nakano, which is an amazing event. Uh, so um, Eileen Quinn and Streetlight Cadence will be performing in our cabaret space. Mm -hmm. And uh, Perla Batala will br bring her Leonard Cohen show into the Armstrong. Great. And for people coming out, what can they expect for parking? How should they pr be prepared if there are large crowds? Well, this is our first year, so we actually have no clue how many people will show up. We are hoping for three, at least 3,000. Um, but I would say just come prepared to have fun, dress comfortably, and uh, parking. We've, we've tried to anticipate any issues with parking, so we will have shuttle service running throughout the, uh, around the area. So we've, uh, um, you'll be able to catch a shuttle that will drop you off right in front of the uh, Cultural Arts Center. Parking is free at the Cultural Arts Center, but can is there a recommended area that they should park at? Um, well, yeah, if, if there's not availability at the center, mm -hmm. then there's the courthouse and uh, City Hall, which is available. Okay. I know at the festival you mentioned that the brochure for the upcoming season will be given out. So I do want to talk about some of the events that people can expect if they miss this festival. What is expected? Sure. We, uh, well, as I mentioned, we have our Studio Cabaret mm -hmm. and National Theater Live. Right. We also have um, some of our guest artists will be um, Casey Abrams, who people may know from uh, The Voice, and he's been on a lot of postmodern jukebox videos. We have uh, Backstage with the Beatles, which will show never-before-seen uh, 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 film clips and uh, photographs from uh, The Beatles. And that's actually being put on by Bob Eubanks, who was one of these um, last living producers of the Beatles when they were here in, in the States. We have uh, Dr. Kaboom for the kids, which is a science show, and um, a, a, just a ton of other things. Our season brochure will be available that day on June 24th, but uh, tickets actually won't go on sale till July, so they have time to look it over and pick out what they want to see. So much exciting events coming up. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of that happen. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the festival? 
I just think um, it's so rare that the, something like this is in, in the backyard. I mean, it's it, just working at the Torrance Cultural Arts Center itself, where there's free parking, it's, lo it's close, it's uh, near lots of great mm -hmm. restaurants, but then to have this kind of an event that really is um, a true immersion in, of the arts, where you can bring your family, you can just come by yourself, and there will literally be something for everybody. Uh, we also have, since this, this is taking place of our fundraiser, we have a lot of, um, we have some raffles going on where people can win some amazing prizes. We also have a balloon pop where we pay $20, you pop a balloon and you get something <laughs> that's worth $20 or more. It's, um, some of the prizes are, you know, tickets to uh, sporting events, live shows, a case of wine. Uh, there's a ton of, uh, I have a whole list of, of things that'll be available. So it really is just a whole fun event, a whole fun day for the family, and I really urge people to come out. Great. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good night. You too. And once again, the South Bay Festival of the Arts will take place on June 24th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. General admission is free. Um, for more information, you can go to torrensarts.org slash festival slash, and you'll get all the information on the great lineup there. Well, that does it for Newsbreak Live. Don't forget to tune in for the Torrance City Council meeting tonight that will start right here at 7 p.m. And if you ever have news or videos that you'd like to share, please email us at newsbreak at torrentca.gov. And for Facebook and Twitter users, use hashtag Newsbreak Live. Have a great night.